Carla, darling. I'm so glad to see you. Dr. Jackson says you're much better, almost well. Yes, that's what he says. Lisa, this is Miss Trask, Mrs. Vale. How do you How do? do? Miss Trask is chief of my police force here. <laughs> What's this? I've been helping Miss Vale with her weaving. Now you've come, if you'll excuse me, I have a million things to do. The oculus told you you don't need these anymore. But I feel so undressed without... It's good for you to feel that way. How's Mama? Hi. She's having a wonderful time paying visits to all her children. Uh, spending a month with me at present. Has Dr. Jackwood told you? Told me what? He says I'm well enough to leave here now. I've got to go home. Lisa, I dread it so terribly. I know it's awful not to want to see Mother, and it's wrong Stop, to... Stop, look and listen. New England conscience on the track. Well, perhaps you don't have to go home. May and I tell her? Later, maybe. We'll see how she behaves. We have a scheme, your relative and I. What is it? I'm not telling you yet. Marvelous chance, though, to use your re-education. Well, my time for pleasure is just about up. I thought I'd show Lisa around the place a little. Then you can show her the rest of the works when we get back. Leave me outside in a minute. Oh, I've been thrown out of better places than this, Doctor. This morning, Charlotte, during your office appointment with me, I referred to a quotation, remember? Oh, yes, Walt Whitman's. Well, I had it looked up and typed out on a strip of paper for you. If old Walt didn't have you in mind when he wrote this, he had lots of others like you. He's put into words what I'd like to say to you now, and far better than I could ever express it. Read it. Bye. Bye. Untold want by life and land near granted. Now, voyager, sail thou forth to seek and find. 